Hello, I'm Captain Iceblock. I represent Storm Spirit players around the world, and inside the channel, you'll find guides on Storm, other heroes, middle lane mechanics, streams, and coaching sessions. Your support keeps the content flowing, and if you'd like to contribute, find out how down below. With all that said, let's go. When playing in the middle, time will come when you will want to trade hits with the enemy hero. It could be continuous harassment from the start, a spell power spike from leveling up, or simply finding a free moment while the opponent is last hitting. Inevitably, when a hero's regeneration runs out, he'll have to play more passively, giving space to the opposing mid. Without mana, you cannot deliver as much damage as you want to, and with low health, you have the risk of dying. In your typical mid lane, a hero is strongest when he has a solid mana and health pool at all times to be ready for any situation to arise. Now what happens if one mid hero kills another? The killing hero receives a nice chunk of experience and direct plus area gold bounty for the kill. However, chances are that killing the opposing hero took a lot of resources and the aggressor now has to sit behind and find some means of regeneration either through items or buildings. And often what ends up happening is the previously killed hero begins to take over the lane and any initial gold and experience boost that the killing hero received is now equalized and the lane starts over. And this brings me to today's topic, tactical suiciding. Now imagine the same scenario. A hero kills a hero, gets some nice gold, decent experience. If the aggressor then also dies to the tower, both heroes will respawn and return to their lanes at around the same time. The difference this time though, that the attacking hero now has gained a level, used the gold he would have lost by dying to buy an item, and the killed hero simply received a small around 150 at every level's bounty and no experience whatsoever. This establishes a strong lead to the attacking hero, and if he's able to successfully replicate the kill again, soon he'll be strong enough to completely take over the lane. And that's exactly what ends up happening in this match. I am familiar with Storm vs OD matchup, I know both heroes' strengths and weaknesses, I know that after OD uses his Astral he'll be pretty much defenseless and I can just follow him to the tower and use my remaining mana to secure the kill. Knowing your hero limits, how much damage you can dish out and receive will help you pull off this strategy successfully. After doing it again, I now have a significant advantage and every time OD shows in the lane, he just dies, allowing me to snowball hard enough to take over the entire match. This strategy also works very well versus double mids. As long as you make sure to kill the main laner, you can comfortably just let go and die afterwards. Because in the end, what matters is that you will stay ahead of the opposing mid laner. In this matchup, Mirana basically lived in mid, sapping experience from her Ember, and while I did die, I managed to always kill Ember first, thus staying ahead in this dual lane scenario. Mirana being in the middle also relieved some pressure from the side lanes, allowing our support to either help his carry dominate or roam to the middle.
eventually farm and experience deprived Ember couldn't stand against Storm and just like that, with tactical suiciding, we've made the mid lane a dead lane for the Ember. Just like previously, the accumulated advantage allows me to completely take over the game and secure the win. So in conclusion, if you plan to trade hits and go for the kill, make sure the enemy dies before you do, and then just hit some creeps while the tower finishes you off. Respawn with full resources and repeat the process. But again, keep in mind that good knowledge of the matchup is required, this will not work against all the heroes, and also any support rotations can throw you off the rhythm. Also, also, at level 6, in most cases, the respawn time becomes too long to make this strategy worthwhile. Win your mids responsibly, I will leave you with the rest of the match, good luck. Come in handy. Ha-ha! <laughs> 